On to another demo. We are doing Rabbit and Steel today. This is a bullet hell action roguelite. It does have some co-op features, but we're playing alone today. I don't even know if it's available in the demo or not, but either way, uh, I have no friends to play with anyways. So let's jump in and check it out. All right, Rabbit and Steel, let's check it out here. Let's do a demo run. Difficulty, cute, normal, <laughs> or other things. We're gonna go with normal. Uh, you can play with people online, it actually looks like. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm just gonna go offline for now. I don't think we need to do anything else. Let's prepare. Long ago, there was a small rabbit who was very lonely. Uh-huh. She, she wept long into the night, staring deep into the full moon and starry sky. Crying to the moon, she wailed. Aw. Dearest moon, how could one like I have as many bright, shining friends as you? To her surprise, the moon replied. Little one, if you are alone in this world, then allow me to be your friend. That's really nice. Tell me of your troubles, and I shall listen. Have we all tried speaking to the moon? Maybe we should all try this now. The two shared secrets until the sun rose. Uh-oh. And the moon had to depart. The rabbit vowed to make a new kingdom where the lonely would find solace. Huh. And over many decades, her dream would be realized. This is how the Moonlit Kingdom was founded. Or so the tale goes. Oh, okay. Get ready. ZA to join. Okay. The heck. So we have wizard rabbit abilities. Dimmy Moonburst is our primary, which is Zed. I don't like this control scheme so far. So Z, X, C, V. Huh, okay, I'll try to get used to it. Deal 200 damage in a small radius near the target. Slows movement when used. Lat Moonburst, which is our secondary, is to 120 damage in a moderate radius. Charges your special. Astral Swirl is our special, which is a damaging radius around the target. Cooldown has 30% chance of resetting when your primary is used. Interesting. Can I not use my mouse as my primary? I might be switching around the controls a little bit here. Uh, we have defensive as well, which erases projectiles around you, grants a brief invulnerability, and places down a magic field that lasts seven seconds while standing in the field. You gain haste A. Hastens GCD actions by 20%. I don't know what the heck that means. Can be stacked with other haste effects. We can play as multiple people. Holy crap. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Go back, go back. How do I go back? What the hell? Let me restart. I thought that was different characters, but it might have just been different palettes. All right, press Z. Oh, there are different people. Okay. So this person looks like an assassin, which is more melee. I'm not going to read everything. This person has a slightly larger weapon. Twirling Rose, maybe this person is a healer, perhaps? They, they scream healer to me. Uh, this person seems like a summoner? I'm just gonna go with the first person. Let's go with the nice palette over here. Uh, sure, you look pretty cool. Okay, so that's my first ability. Okay. So I, I literally had to press it all the time. What is the... So the mouse is for movement only. And then primary attack, primary attack, secondary attack has a cooldown. And then I can use that my alt like that. Okay. Let's just go onward. A few months ago, all contact with the Moonlight Kingdom was lost. Mm-hmm. Oh crap, I was pressing primary attack button. And I, uh, I skipped all the dialogue. So I'm just doing my primary attack on her. Oh my god. So you can use the mouse or you can use the arrow keys. Seems like the arrow keys is actually easier for me to do movement, personally. Let's do some alts. I don't know how I should decide which attacks to use. I'm just mashing all three and it worked out fine. So I'm not sure if I should be more strategic with it, but it seemed like it worked out. 
So I'm just going to keep going. We got some treasure here. Full moon treasure sphere. Do I have to attack it? There you go. And it is... Ooh, we have Shrine Maiden's Kassad. Kassod? When you have a buff, your movement speed increases slightly and you deal 25% more damage. Dark Storm Knife has 30% chance of dealing 100 damage to all enemies when your second dairy does damage. Oh, cool. Every six seconds, fire an Eldritch Beast in the direction you're facing that deals 200 damage on contact with enemies. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, I feel like this one might be the best one, the Dark Storm Knife. All right, let's keep going. Investigative expeditions are repelled or go missing. This includes a, an attempt by the legendary hero rabbit, Shira, who has vanished. Okay. Are they going to start doing like bullet hell stuff to me? Oh, asking you shall receive. I can dodge this, this is easy. This ain't no Picayune dreams or anything, you know? At least not yet. <laughs> it is the first two levels, I, I shouldn't be expecting too much from that. Cool! Let's keep going! A colossal white tower now manifests the city's center in each night, stretching skyward towards the stars. Huh. What is going on? Did I get hit? Okay. So this girl be knocking me back. It actually helps a little bit to dodge the things that she's doing. No problem. No problem at all. Can I use my ult? I did it. Peace out. I mean, super easy so far. Not really a challenge. Give me more treasure. Thank you. Red Black Ribbon. When you place a debuff on an opponent, your defensive has a 50% chance of resetting. When you place a debuff on an opponent. I don't think I'm doing debuffs, so I'm not sure if that is a really good idea for me. Night Star Grimoire. Damage 900. Recast 25 seconds. Every 25 seconds, deal 900 damage to all enemies now that sounds pretty strong obviously but the cooldown is huge so i don't know if that's going to be the best choice every 10 seconds resets defensive cooldowns for you and your allies if i actually had friends and i was playing with my allies i think that lullaby harp would be really really good i'm gonna take the grimoire let's see it go off it seems i'm making a guess here but it seems like the items that i'm fighting are maybe specific to this character it's just the color scheme of them makes me think that only i can pick them up or they're special for my character i could be wrong i could be wrong something must be done your mission is to investigate these happenings find shira and resolve the issue if possible cool all right i'm i'm just going to continue to spam most oh dang it first hit I'm going to continue to spam most of my spells here. Okay, I use my defensive thing there. Two, one. I can use it every single time she casts that, so it doesn't even matter. Cool. Damage dealt. Yada, yada, yada. All good. I'm skipping past this thing. May you be sharp of ear and swift of foot, Nino, head of Cottontail Guild. Oh, two enemies, huh? You want to team up on me? Get in the circle. Okay. Nice. Will it tell me every time I'm supposed to do that? Get in the circle, I'm assuming. I did it. GG, see you later. GG, see you later. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't need all that. Let me through. What is this, bunny? It's bunny time. Scholar's Nest. What you got for me? Welcome! Oh, it's a shop. We have to press R to shop. 
We can do a full heal for 10. Where's my monies? I have 46. Gain one level. Each level increases your damage by 1%. Very cool. Increases your primary damage by 20. Lasts until next stage. Yikes. I don't think it's worth it. Makes you harder to hit. Lasts until the next stage. Uh, Special is damaged by 20%. Lasts until next stage. I'm not into that. I want something more permanent than that. Ability upgrades. Garnet primary upgrade. Deal 20%. 200 damage in a small radius near the target. Oh, this is my... These are my attacks. Okay, got it. So I'm kind of like, I'm kind of doing cool stuff with my secondary attack, I believe, because we have a passive that works with it. So maybe we take this thing. Did it work? It sure did. And now I'm too poor for anything else that I would possibly consider. Okay, let's get out of here. Steal yourself. Want some of this? Gravity shifts and seizes. Okay. Oh, wow. I gotta remember that attacking takes a little bit of time. At least some of the attacks do. Um, can I still dodge this? Yes, I can. Alter, nice. Easy enough. I have no problems with this. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. I got S plus. It's fine. <laughs> I wonder if that that screen really shows anything useful. What is this? Bind? Oh my god. Oh, it's a bind of up and down. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, I'm actually kind of scared of this one. Get me out of here. No, 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 no. Don't find me. Yikes. Oh, I dodged it somehow. Yeah, you can't do anything to me. I'm so much better than you. All right, alter, alter. Okay. Oh, 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 I got hit. I have three remaining. Oh, no, <laughs> I was close. All right, maybe a full heal is something that I might need later on. All right, just get me on to the next treasure. I need it. Something good. Give me something broken. We have a Bright Storm Spear. Has 30% chance of dealing 100 damage to all enemies when your primary does damage. Okay. So it's the same thing that we have on our secondary, but for our primary. Has 50% chance of granting 50 extra XP at the end of each fight fight how much xp per level that would make me that would help me make a decision whether or not that's super valuable or not rabbit luck temporarily become extremely lucky oh that's a good description i don't know what the hell that means glittering trumpet every 20 seconds grant rabbit luck on all, all, all allies cooldown cannot be reset by ability or loot effects become extremely lucky for five seconds I'm taking the spear, dude. Upwards and onwards. Let's steal ourselves. Yo, sup? Another contender. Take this alt. Teleport. Alright. I'm supposed to get in here anyways, right? Teleporting. Am I not supposed to be in here? Okay. So the teleport really helps me actually survive that attack. Backwards? Oh, crap. I did not notice that she was attacking. Oh my god. I actually think I'm almost dead now. Holy crap. More mysteries to know. Oh my god. Um, not good, not good, not good! I'm at 1 HP all of a sudden. Someone help me. Take me to the shop. On to the next lesson. Uh, okay. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Oh, mother effer. Okay. Oh, God! I got super lucky there. I was not really watching all the attacks. 
I could also be using my defensive spell to get out of those situations. What the hell? How do I do this? Like this? Oh my god. I only have two health remaining. One health remaining. I was standing in the circle of damage. Alright, let's watch all this stuff. I, I don't know if my teleporting is going to help me or not. I use my defensive ability. I'm dead. Dang it! Floof ball. Hard difficulty. So I unlocked a couple of things. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I was doing so well and then all of a sudden I died. Alright, we gotta go back in there then. Let's try someone else. Uh, press Z to join. Cool. Alright. Wizard Rabbit was kind of cool. Should we try the Assassin Rabbit? So it has a swift cut. Deal 100 damage twice to an area in front of you. Has 15% chance of resetting your defensive cooldown. Okay, so same thing as the other person, really. 50 damage three times to targeted enemy from a range. If your defensive has less, five seconds or less on its cooldown, it will reset instantly. Ooh, assassinate. Deals 250 damage in front of you. 30% more damage if the enemy is facing away from you. Ah, only 30% more damage? That's not a lot. So we have Shadow Step, which is a defensive uh, spell here. Vanish from sight for three seconds and gain invincibility and a mo momentary boost in speed. Also erases nearby projectiles. Disappear and evade attacks until you use an ability. Your next ability does more damage. Oh, interesting. So if we use our defensive thing, we should really just like chill out for a little bit and then walk around and use assassinate most likely on the enemy. Very, very cool. Let's cool. choose a nice color here. We'll go with the green one. Whoa, what's this? Map in difficulty, trinkets. What are my trinkets? Floof ball. A fluffy ball of cotton, soft to the touch and floats in the wind, will get ruffled if you take damage. Okay. I don't know what that does. Is it just for fun? Uh, let's let's try this out. So that's our attack there. This is our secondary attack. Very cool. And then this is our defensive thing. Whoa, super fast. Wait, let me try that alt again. Let me try this alt again. Is it ranged? Let me double check. No, it has to be pretty close to us. So this is a really, really different character for sure. Let's try them out. I feel like I would like a ranged person more. Oh my god. Get me out of here. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, we're going behind. We're going behind. Ah, I missed. I'm just shooting her with my gun. Okay, let's use our defensive thing. We use C. Oh, get backstabbed. Peace out. All right, all right. Kind of cool, kind of cool. All right, let me see what she got. So she has Holy Greatsword. Every 10 seconds grants you Smite G and then slices the air around you, dealing 200 damage to nearby enemies. Could be good. Deal 10% more damage for 10 seconds. Okay, that's what Smite G is. When you gain a buff, erase bullets in a radius around yourself. Maybe. Every 15 seconds, grant Smite Y to all allies, which is not as good as this one. So we'll take the Holy Greatsword because it gives us a little bit more DPS and also gives us that Smite buff yo sup can i get behind you uh what's this okay no problem get wrecked oh my god <laughs> i didn't even notice that big thing behind me ah i didn't backstab there oh my god why am i so bad at this game kind of hard to use her slash if they're shooting bullets everywhere and you can't position yourself in the right place. 
So yeah, I, I still feel like I'm preferring more of a ranged character. Yo, sup? Oh, you want to come over here, huh? We'll take this. What? Is it just me or are these enemies way harder? Knock back this way? Okay. I can dodge that. We'll vanish. Oh, I used the wrong skill. Uh, this should be a safe knockback. That's cool. Uh oh, that's not good. I vanish. I stab you in the back. GG. Get me out of here. I need more treasure. Give me something that makes me invincible. <laughs> or unkillable. We have emerald chest plate. Sounds about right. This loot will lose charges instead of you taking damage. Starts with three charges on pickup. So basically it's just a, a heal for three. Your abilities and loot all deal 20% more damage, but movement speed is reduced significantly. Yikes. If you perish in battle, restore to full HP instead only works once. This is a better version of the chest plate because we have 5 HP. So I'm going to take the Phoenix Charm. Peace out. Steal yourself. You want some of this? Oh my god. Well, now I have to stay in here. Okay. I might as well use my ult if it's ready, because if I can't get behind them, at least it does a lot of damage, even if I'm not behind them. Okay, wait, I need to get in here. Easiest fight so far. Let's vanish out. Oh! I didn't have vanish ready. Thank God she died before I ran into some bullets. Yep, I'm ready. Who are you? Oh! These two. I'll get them. Okay. Hey, let's ult her. Straight into her face. I can dodge that. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I should have dodged that. Wait, we can get behind her. We can get behind her. Get wrecked. So yeah, with this character, actually, I don't know if it was the same with the other, but you can't really mash both of the attacks and both of them happen at the same time. And you get slowed down with this secondary attack, which uh, actually doesn't have as, as much range as I thought it would. But it will allow you to not hit something that's right in front of you, so that's when you would use it. So I'm actually learning that I shouldn't just spam both or all of the <laughs> buttons at the same time. Okay, how much health do I have? I have three out of five. What is this? Two people? A rabbit in the library? What business do you have here? Do you come in from the streets, allies of those mice perhaps? We've met before, correct? You attacked me out of nowhere. Yes, this is definitely our first meeting. Say nothing. I actually don't remember fighting her or anything, but I'm gonna say... Uh, um, I'll, I'll be mad at her, I guess. You attacked me out of nowhere. Cease your lies. I think I'd remember something like that. Your rabbit seems so carefree. We crows, too, used to be like you. We'd flock around, mindlessly collecting shiny baubles, eating sunflower seeds, and chatting while we watch the sunset. A pitiful existence, but we have since been enlightened. We have been blessed by the voices of the stars themselves. They call us at night and give us an untold wisdom. Though their insights would be beyond a mere rabbit like you. What kind of things do they say? I don't think I need insights anyways. I'll ask her about the insights. Wonderful, intelligent things such as... I can't remember what they said to me. Something about attacking? It's no matter. The stars have chosen us to be their students. And though their teachings, we shall be elevated. And through their teachings, we shall be elevated. And from the skies, we will guide the world. When that time comes, I'll be sure to remember you. Those who lead the world must have smarts to make up for their subjects' deficiencies. Okay. We shall study and learn so that you might continue your humble existence. Thanks, jerk. Hey, buddy. Um, what do I want to upgrade? What th would this upgrade exactly? Duration is increased, but now slows your movement on use. Ew. 
Damage is reduced, but multiple but hits multiple times. Deal three, 10, 100 damage three times. Huh, I don't know if that's good. It deals 250 damage right now, so I don't think that's good. Uh, it has 20% chance of granting you vanish. That's cool. Damage and size are increased, but only hits once. But only hits once, what does that mean? I'm gonna take this one, it seems net positive. I don't want any of that crazy uh, downgrade stuff. Gain one level, each level increases your damage by 1%. Sure, I'll take one. Peace out. So we can vanish with our secondary attack now. Yo, sup, sup, sup. What is your attack? Okay, that's not too bad. Vanish, we're vanishing. Oh my god, that was close. Oh wait, this does have a long range. If there's no one on the screen, it shows it as a short range, but it's actually pretty long range. Oh, right, I need to watch out for the stuff I'm uh, reappearing into. Uh, this trick is kind of crazy. Take some of this. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Oh my god, why am I touching things? Alright, that was a really bad fight. She was actually quite easy. I'm just really bad at this game. I healed a heart somehow, though. Which is nice. What's up? Oh, it's you again. I will stay close to you so that I can hit you with this. Yeah, I don't have any movement slowdown from my primary attack, so I should try to use that as much as possible. Oh, dang, wrong attack. Wrong attack. Oh, 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 oh! Oh my god! He's doing it. He's doing it. Oh! Peace out. That's a crit. Woo! No problem. At least I'm right beside you so I can smack you in the face with my knife. Oh, her hitbox is her whole circle, I guess. That's really nice. Aw, oh, hitless. GG. I think I'm officially further than I was last time. All right. Give me something good, baby. What do we got? We got Hawk Feather Fan. Reduces your specials cooldown by one second. Not really needed because I'm waiting between them anyways be, be, like so that I can get behind them a lot of the time. Your primary has 30% larger radius and deals 10% more damage, but it will briefly reduce your movement speed when used. Ugh, that's kind of like how my secondary attack works right now. I, I'm a little bit slowed down whenever I use it. I do like my movement speed staying the same with my primary attack, to be honest. If you clear a fight without getting hit, heal for 1 HP. 100% I'm picking that up. I don't know how often it will happen, but, you know, getting rewarded for good gameplay, always a good thing in these games. Uh, I'm supposed to be in here. Backstab, backstab. We are teleporting. Oh, right. Well, I'm on the outside now. Oh, God, what is this? Um, I'm not getting that hitless bonus. I'm supposed to teleport into here. Okay, we're gonna try. We're teleporting. I'll teleport right beside you, it's fine. No, actually that's not fine. Google, shut up! Oh my god, I'm gonna die! Alright, we use this, we use this. I just need to beat her. I will learn how to kill you without getting hit one day. Am I hitting her? I'm not. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. I think I was vanished. Move over here. Um, this is not a good position to be in. Oh, it is a good position to be in. All right, we'll vanish. Crit. 
Oh my god, why did I step into that? My Phoenix Feather is gone. Yo, this girl has a lot of HP, man. Uh, will this hurt me? I'm gonna get hurt. Oh my god, that whole thing is an attack? Yeah, I had a Phoenix Feather. It was my first item I picked up or something. I am really bad, at, particularly at this boss. I'm gonna vanish later. Vanish. Three seconds of invul. We get back to this. All right, if you use your defensive ability correctly, this fight probably isn't that bad. I'm just really bad at using it. All right, we did it. Peace out. Thank you, Phoenix Feather, you are the MVP. And upwards and onwards. Area, boss ahead. Ooh. What's up, dude? Twilly. Okay. Are you going to be as tough as the last person? Let's begin with the basics. All right. Here, take some crits. Uh, what the heck is this? Vanish. Oh my god. Oh boy. That's a big circle that I'm not supposed to be in. Don't lock me in. Don't lock me in. We gotta vanish. I, I can't move out of the range of this? Yes, I can. Woo! Okay, we got it. Oh, don't teleport me. Don't teleport me. Whoa! Crap, crap! No! <laughs> no! I think we can do it. I think we could possibly do it. Okay, one more. One more. Not my favorite. Uh, that wasn't my favorite character, but she's okay. I feel with a little bit of practice, she's she could be really good. Because it, it, I feel like her shadow step can be really, really uh, exploited. And you could use it... If you're using it appropriately or the right way, um, you can get out of a lot of sticky situations because it lasts so long. So this girl also has a brief invulnerability and places down a dark field that lasts for two seconds while standing in the field. Allies don't take damage for two seconds. The field also erases some projectiles. Charge. Okay. So you have a full moon, which is 220 damage in a large radius around you. Dark wave, 60 damage in a line in front of you, charges your primary and special. Charge attacks deal 2.5 damage when used. Okay. Spinning leap grants brief invul and leaps forward or leaps towards the target opponent with a spinning slash dealing 250 or sorry, 280 damage has maximum of two uses. Very cool. All right, let's go with this outfit for ya. Did I unlock any trinkets? We sure didn't. So this, this gives us a charge. Oh wow, that's a pretty big circle. How would you rank the three games you've played today? Um, <laughs> that's a tough one. <laughs> I'm going to put, I'm going to put, um, Shadows Shadows of the... What is it called again? Shadows of the Depth probably last. Maybe... It's hard because I feel like I like Sypho more than this game, but that's because I'm biased towards a game with like a huge amount of customization. But um, it's only the first time I've played each of them, so that, that is something that could change. It is very possible that I would actually like this game more than Sypho on full release or like playing it a little bit more. But my first impressions, based on first impressions, I, I would go with Sypho, this game, and then Shadows of the, the Depths. Okay, let's just try this out here. Wait, I didn't try out my special. Okay, so I get invul for the charge, and then I go in and spin. Her ult is kind of bogus. I don't really like it, but we're going to try her out anyways. All right, let's go. 
Oh, we did fight her. She's the first enemy. Oh my god, why are you so angry? Chill out, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it just me or is this game getting harder every time we play it? Oh, I thought I had my special! So we want to do a pattern of secondary attack and then do our primary attack whenever she's in range. Oh, you're kidding me. Alright, she was definitely not in range there. Okay, we'll dodge out. Take that. We go like that and you're dead. Peace out. Okay. Well, that didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to, but... We're getting some practice runs with her. Her primary attack does way more damage than this thing, I'm pretty sure. Eh, about half. Okay. Dark Storm Knife. Okay, so this is actually the item that we got with the first character, so I guess they're not unique. Uh, Shrimeer, Shrimeer's Kiso. What does this do again? When you have a buff, your movement speed increases slightly and you deal more damage. Does that... So you know how my secondary attack powers up my other attacks? I wonder if that counts as a buff. I don't really want to test it out, so I'm just going to take Dark Storm Knife. Because I feel like Dark Storm Knife is going to be the attack that we use the most, because it has the most range. Splash, splash. You wish. We go like this, we go like that. Oh yes. Come into my range. Here, take an alt special. Easiest fight in the world. Alter! Oh! Am I gonna get hit? I did not get hit. Ah, oh, I missed with that one. Keep hitting her, keep hitting her. We ult! Nice! Oh, that was a perfect ult right there. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm ready. Who are you? No problem. Oh, not this girl. <laughs> I guess she is a problem. At least I have a big circle attack, so it it helps me ah, be in different positions. And be able to attack her. Peace out. What is this girl's dodge again? Oh my god! Ooh! Here, let's try it out. So she has a little area which you have to stay in to stay invulnerable. I don't love it. But it's not too bad. Alright, let me go. I don't need all this. I do need this, however. More? We got Nightgale, Nightingale Gown. Every 25 seconds you get invincibility for 8 seconds. Kind of hard to time, I'm sure it would become useful, but we'll see. Have you ever had 100% free shops in Cyclo Chambers? Um... No, I don't think so. But I know that even without 100% free shops, I got super, super ridiculous in that game from other sources. I can't remember why. I think it was like money generation or something like that. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played it. Time Warp Wand. Your secondary has 30% chance of giving you haste B for 5 seconds. Can be stacked with other haste effects. Hastens GCD actions. What are GCD actions? GCD. I, I honestly don't know what GCD means. Your GCDs become 1.1 seconds. Also slightly increases movement speed. What is GCD? Am I missing something here? Uh, I'll just take the metronome boots, I think. Your GCDs. Oh wait, G, G cooldowns? What is a G though? What does a G stand for? Global cooldown! That makes so much sense. Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. I'll just use this thing. All right.
right, all right, all right. I don't have my thing yet. I'm just focused on dodging so much. You get over here. Get over here. I don't like this boss. Oh, wasn't that hard. <laughs> I just didn't like her. I also don't know how I'm healing, but I am. Steal yourself. Oh, AoE time. Get wrecked. <laughs> this is the easiest battle in the world. Both of you are getting wrecked so badly. LOL and LOL. That was a stupid fight. The cooldown that affects everything whenever you use any power, most commonly either 1 or 1.5 seconds depending on the game. So I have no idea if 1.1 is lengthening or shortening it. Hmm. Whoa! It's these two. Halt. What do you want? You are an unfamiliar face. No, I'm not. You don't need to stop everyone we see. We're just patrolling. How is everything? Or how's your evening? Didn't we just fight these two? My evening has been great. I've had a poor start to the evening. Didn't I knock you two out earlier? Yo, totally. Oh, that might have happened. I thought you looked suspicious. Say, do you believe in miracles? Are you going to ask everything, everyone we talk to that? I'm telling you, your good luck charm doesn't do anything. That's not true. Good things definitely happen more often when I'm holding it. Hey, my good luck charm is all beat up. I got to be a real lucky charm. It got to be a real lucky charm. If anyone would know, it'd definitely be a rabbit. They're the luckiest of them all. Miracles can happen if you're lucky enough, right? Luck and miracles are real. I'm gonna say that. See, I told you, face it, that charm is useless. Not true, even if my charm only makes me 5% luckier, if a miracle only has 1% chance of happening, then you add 5%, then suddenly the miracles can happen 6% of the time. <laughs> It definitely doesn't work like that. Putting mathematics into luck, I love it. It definitely does. Think of how lucky the mice have been recently. We used to get picked on by the wolves and dragons, and then everyone started fighting, and then the new queen showed up and we're the only ones walking around and asking questions. Say, Miss Rabbit, what's your favorite food? Stop asking her unimportant things. We're patrolling to ensure the safety of mice around town. You don't seem to be a threat for now, but stay out of the church mouse streets. If you start causing trouble there, our knights will deal with you in swift order. Peace out. Thanks for joining. All right, what do you got? So we got Emerald Primary Upgrade, which is damage and radius is increased. I love it. Gives you a small boost of speed. GCD is faster. No longer deals damage. What? Why the hell would I want that? Deals more damage, but cooldown is increased. No longer has multiple uses. I'm like kind of fine with that to be honest, but we gotta pick up this emerald one. For sure. I'll take a level up, why not? Peace out. How you doing? Gravity shifts and seizes. Well, she's just getting wrecked. Oh, dodge out of here. Uh, I'm trying to find a good spot to use my ult on her, but I'm not sure if it's going to happen. Either way, this circle attack is just destroying her health bar. Do we go in with this nice, cheeky little ult? Nah. Let's just stick to this. I don't know why, but the last few fights have just been ridiculously easy. Keep moving. Steal yourself! This is the one that freezes you in place, right? Yeah, I don't like this chick. But we can deal, we can deal. What? Check this out. Get wrecked! Oh my god! Woo! Gotta get out of the range of that thing. Wow, that was close. Let me out. Let me out. Finish her with an ult. 
Okay, we didn't finish her with the ult, but that's fine. We did it! On to the next treasure. Let's alt it just for fun. 588 versus 311. I feel like the alt is a little bit weak, but it does give us iframes, so I guess that's when I should use it. Every six seconds, fire Eldritch Beast. Right. It's every six seconds. Spider Bite Bow. Every 10 seconds, fire projectile at your targeted enemy that deals 50 damage and poison Z for five seconds. Deals damage once per second, can be stacked with other poisons. How much damage though? Uh, 30, I'm guessing? Or is it 50? It deals 50 and applies poison Z. Poison Z says 30 over five seconds, so it's 150 in total, I'm assuming. Your max HP is increased by one. All abilities and loot hitboxes are 30% larger. Um, all ability and loot's hitboxes. Loot. Um, I think I'll go with the poison. I, I'm not sure about that loot hitbox thing. Does that mean me? Or does it just mean items or something? <laughs> Like the, the treasure box that I open. Oh, not you again. Uh, this is not good. This is fine. Yeah. That's why I took it. If it has some auto attacking stuff, that's good for me. Uh, let me get out of here. When am I teleporting? Okay, cool. Oh my god. Woo, clutch. Why are you doing this? She has so much health. Stop doing this to me. All right, I'll stand right beside you so I can get into the circle. Oh my God. Woo. Oh, frick. I dodged one thing and then teleported into the next thing. Oh my god, I didn't see that. Even though it's like taking up half the screen, I did not see it. Oh, you want me to... No, 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 no. Oh my god. Okay, she's almost there. We took a lot of damage. Oh, why does my Google keep going off? Uh, you know what? I will go over here. Woo! Lots of stuff happening. She's dead. You're dead. You want an ult? I'll show you an ult. Peace. Ah, she's not dead yet. There you go. Alright, at least we have 3 HP still. What is this thing? A normal battle? Area boss. Okay, 3 health. Let's see if we can do it. Alright, start hitting her. Hit her with one of these. Hit her with one of these. Get in the circle, I got it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. No, don't lock me in! Look at those dodges. Oh, crap. I gotta get out again. Woo! Whew. That was a clutch spin. I'm teleporting again? Oh my god. I'm so distracted by everything. Okay, that was... That actually worked out. You have basic understanding. Thank you. I'm in the circle. Oh, what the hell? I need to... What? How am I teleporting? Oh, okay. Oh my god. The teleporting makes everything freaking crazy. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, move, 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 move! No! Oh no! We're so close, though. We're so close. Oh, don't teleport me upwards. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Teleport! 
Good. Good. Oh, frick! I touched my freaking ear! Oh. See ya, Rich. <laughs> You're just about to end anyways. Oh, man. Oh, we, I think we were close there. I'm... I want to finish the demo. It's going to have to be on another attempt, which is great. I mean, if a demo lasts this long, I'm happy with it. But it's just like... There's just that determination that's building up in my body that I want to finish this demo boss. I'm assuming that boss that we were just looking at is going to be the end of the demo too. So we're going to have to take another look here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That's our first look at Rabbit and Steel. We'll be back with more. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. It would really help with the channel. And once again, thanks for joining in for Rabbit and Steel. We'll be back with more soon.